What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. Come back. I got something new to show you and I want you to take a look. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing on this YouTube Tuesday? That's right, it's YouTube Tuesday for me. Got something for you. So the last few years, I have really been pushing my luck with my camera equipment. When I say I've been pushing my luck with my camera equipment, I've taken so many chances of hauling this stuff around. You know, some of these cameras are not cheap. The camera I'm shooting on right now that I'll be shooting on a lot of my big trips on, I, I mean, I almost need insurance on it so if I mess it up I can get covered but in all seriousness I have been pushing my luck on how I carry it around and how I transport all my cameras now the GoPros yes you can be somewhat rough and tough on those things they get thrown in Jeeps they get hanging off of Jeeps they get hanging off of poles and you know tossed on the cars and tossed on airplanes daily you know and they can handle that kind of stuff but these other cameras, they can be quite sensitive and can be damaged pretty easily, especially the lenses and that kind of thing. And we'll, we'll talk about some ways of protecting that if you don't know down the road. I'll bring up another tech Wednesday or Saturday, and we'll talk about protecting your expensive investments. But one of the ways that you can do it is by getting a real true camera bag. Now, I have done a regular backpack. Uh, business backpack for daily stuff that I um, bought a insert to put my camera in but it really wasn't doing what I needed and what was happening too is I put my camera in and this insert was at the very bottom of the bag it was protecting the camera but then I had to pull everything out just to get to that one camera so I talked to the wife I said wife love you I need a camera bag she goes okay don't go overboard I didn't go overboard um, I'll leave links down below to this one I did get it off of Amazon it is a bag smart bag now it's not top of the line by no means but it is well padded got pretty decent reviews and I like the looks of it one of the things I like about it it's kind of smaller than my regular backpack was, but it holds everything I need it to hold. So what I'm going to do is we're going to stop the video right here. We're going to get set up to where you can see everything. And I'll show you the details in this bad boy because I really, it's been in a Jeep for a weekend beating around with cameras in it and she did good. So let's, let's get swapped around. Okay, guys. So here is the Bag Smart camera bag. We're going to take a look at it real quick. First thing you can see is it has a side pocket. We'll show you the outside stuff first. So it has a side pocket right here that is actually has a strap where you can put a bigger tripod on here if you want to. But that's what it's meant for is to strap your tripod in. Right now I have just my Joby pod in it, but I could put one of the traveling tripods. I plan on getting one in this at some point now we look at the front we have a buckle strap but they're actually magnetic buttons we do have one pocket here in the front unzip it that's where i normally keep my stickers and stuff like that i think it's all good in there there may be something else in the bottom nope just keep my stickers channel stickers so if anybody's out my new channel sticker in case you hadn't seen it is Hang on, a little tough to grab. This, the only way to get this channel sticker, come on, focus, focus. The only way to get this particular sticker is you have to see me out and say, hey, Mid-10 Outdoors, I need a sticker. And that's the, only, that's the one you'll get now. Um, so anyway, it does have an outside pocket here. Turn it around. We do have a pocket here for a water bottle or such. Um, I'll show you that detail here in a minute. We do have nice um, shoulder straps with chest strap. 
and it does have a removable which I have taken off because I don't see the need for a waist belt but it does have provisions for a waist belt and does have a waist belt the other big thing I had to have is one of two things one a good carry handle this one's got a good carry handle that's wrapped in leather and everything and it's comfortable to carry but I needed a laptop pocket this will hold up to a 15 inch laptop so if your laptop's any bigger sorry it won't go in here but my MacBook and my other laptop will go in here just perfect and it is well padded nice and thick padding it does have the suitcase strap so I can put it on suitcases I'm going through the airport um, so now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the top part you know, buckle it like so unzip and then you have a nice ginormous pocket up here in this pocket I keep my everyday carry pouch first aid kit this pouch I keep all kinds of goodies in if you want to see a video of what I'm actually keeping in this bag now let me know and I'll do that there's all kinds of goodies in this um, but I also keep my computer stuff in here with a little hard drive and mouse and that kind of stuff and then there's an interior pocket which in here I keep some paint patches and stuff like that in here I also keep wipes these wipes usually have these in there um, I no telling how many times I've been in a vehicle and I've had to wipe the windshield before I mount a GoPro in the front of it so you can see out <coughs> so there's that I also keep my uh, JBL AirPods in them. I love these things. Heck of a lot cheaper than Apple's, and they sound just as good. Um, last me usually all week before I have to charge them. But I love those things. So now we'll keep it unbuckled. And I'll show you this side right here. So normally the camera I'm shooting on would go in here. And you would just unzip the side, reach in, grab your camera, and start shooting now the other thing too was pockets on the inside I like having pockets on the inside in here I can keep batteries I keep flash drives um, and that's pretty much it I do keep some of my mid 10 outdoors business cards in here too so that I've always got those on me so that's the side entrance like I said pretty spacious in there it'll hold a uh, pretty good size DSLR uh, mine fits kind of loose in there. I've been thinking about doing something to make it fit a little bit better. And we'll see at some point I may do that. But then to get into the other part of the camera compartment. Okay, to get into the other part of the camera compartment, you unzip this. So now you're inside the camera compartment. You have another pocket right here, which I keep big cables in. Uh, iPhone cable and dongles to charge said phones with um, if I'm carrying um, I'll have battery chargers with me so always oops always keep extra cables for those battery chargers so I can charge them um, also keep oh this one's supposed to be a keep but I keep other things in there if you want to see that video please let me know down below because I've just been sitting here showing you what all is in these pockets but uh, I keep my cables and stuff in this pocket it works really well it's still it's still padded so nothing's getting beat up too bad so the way I've got it divided up right now things are kind of jumping around this is spare batteries for this camera I keep them in this I also keep a couple of um, SD cards in here in case I need them I keep those in a plastic baggie I don't have it with me right now but I do have a uh, waterproof cover to go over this bag so if I'm out and I need a waterproof cover I've got it there's enough room in here right now that I've actually got another small camera to play with if I need it to get some of that cool footage from time to time right now I've also got two lenses in here I've got a 50 millimeter Canon lens and I've got my 24 millimeter camera Canon lens that I keep in there to change out from time to time I also keep carry handle in it and I keep filters 
So you can customize this to do whatever you want it to do. You can actually customize it where you take the bottom out of the top part and you have the whole thing for other adventures. If you want to use it for just a straight up backpack for um, traveling, you can do that. But I really like it so far. Um, like I said, it's been beat up in a Jeep already and did really well. The straps are holding up, I mean, feel good and padded and they're soft. Um, I like the looks of the material on this thing. So I would highly recommend it so far. Like I said, it's a bag smart. I kind of like the black denim. It's kind of a denim look. It doesn't really jump out and say um, camera bag at first. You really have to look at it to know it. But it has feet that stand up on the bottom. It does pretty good standing up. I've kind of got my top load a little too heavy. I need to shift it around a little bit and it would stand up more proper like. But <clears throat> I really like this thing. Would I recommend it right now? Yes. I haven't any problems out of it. Um, like I said, it ran back of a Jeep. No problem. I've done some traveling with it. And it's done pretty good. So with all that said... I, it's the best move I've made yet as far as hauling my camera equipment around all my video stuff like uh, when I took it on the Jeep ride I had three go pro three GoPros um, my vo uh, vlog camera I did not take this one for that trip because I didn't know how the weather conditions were be and I really didn't want to risk it for the biscuit for that with that camera but um, I really like how this is gonna work um, and you know i i'm officially a camera dude well camera bag. all right guys that's gonna be it for this video if you have any questions about the bag smart camera bag that i've got here please ask them down below i'll be glad to answer them if you have any other questions about what's in the bag and we'll see more in detail i'll be glad to show you how i keep it um <clears throat> that's it for this one don't forget the may meet up May 13th to the 15th, Cover the Mountain State Park. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate all the commenters. I appreciate everybody that shares the video. Please keep sharing it. Please keep liking. Please keep subscribing. We want to do more of this, and we want to do more of it. More full-time type deal. And it's all up to you guys. You guys are who makes it go. All right, guys. Be prepared. We'll see you on the next one.